Right, so this is the BB installation for SM Vitae. The commentary on this is questionable, so I decided to redo it. So step one is get yourself a large threaded rod. This is a stainless steel one, which is a one meter long from tool station. However, you don't need one this long. The step two is add Loctite, very essential. Um, and yeah, you can see the, the SM Vitae BB is a one piece, which is why you need a longer steel rod than you'd expect. So what, what you do is the same as most BB installations. You basically put the each sort of like end of it, which comes with it um, onto the onto the rod and you basically just tighten it in. So you can see I'm holding it on one side um, and my friend Jinder, who's a legend helping me do this, uh, was is basically pulling it in. Now it will make some cracking noises. Uh, don't worry about that. That is just apparently the Loctite uh, sort of sort of making some noises. But yeah, it, it takes some time for sure to get it all the way in, but it's definitely worth it because once it's all the way in, you uh, do not need to take it out. You can just change the bearings. And for me, I've had it for over a year. The bearings still smell, are pretty smooth. Probably gonna change them soon as they, you know, they're still pretty like, um, there's no f play, but they sort of starting to make that whirring noise that they might need to be changed. Um, but I will make another video so you can see it's an incredibly long steel rod, but that is what you need to do. So anyway, you keep on just turning it and turning it and turning it, uh, which is what you need to do. So anyway, you'll see we're sort of going to skip forward a little bit here. Um, you can see my friends helping out, just double checking that everything's in. You just need to make sure it's well aligned, but that is actually not too hard to do. Um, so you can see again, it is sort of just more twisting. It's almost in now, but it starts to get a bit more uh stiff and harder to sort of put in as the closer you go um just because obviously like it's a one-piece design um and the frames are normally designed for the classic shimano two-piece design this is a bb86 bottom bracket thing for my info crank so you can see we just keep on uh twisting it in twisting it in twisting it in um and yeah then it's pretty sweet so anyway we're now gonna skip to the end a bit so you'll now see what we're gonna do uh after it is finally been installed so obviously you've got to take the threaded rod off and now here we go i've got the grease out I'm gonna put that in um into the bb just before we install uh the end caps which are very essential and after you put them in then we need to install the bb now just install sorry install the cranks Install the cranks as normal. You can see here goes uh, my crank trying to push it around. It's not going well, uh, but you can still see it smooths very, very well. So anyway, that's basically all the steps. We'll just show that some of the end videos of me throwing the the uh, the cranks around so that they spin incredibly quickly. But anyway, just watching. Hope you did enjoy this quick video. And I'll see you in the next one.